Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get right into this. Guardian Angel, Spirit Guide, Team Testers, If you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see. Spirit, how does this person feel about Aries? Okay, so right away we have the Seven of Cups. So you could have someone who you feel confused about. This person maybe feels confused about you. Maybe there's other options involved. Um, tell me more about how this person feels. Okay, so there's definitely someone here, Aries, who feels like you have other options here. They feel left out by you. They feel abandoned by you. Um, if you're cross-watching, this could be the other the other way around also if you're the Aries this could be the other way around right I am reading in this person's perspective but energy is fluid so just take it as it resonates there's just someone here who feels like there's there's not a clear direction of where this is going or where this was going or where to go next um, someone definitely feels th they're hurting from this is is what I'm getting um, tell me about that five of pentacles please Tell me about the Five of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Thank you. Wow, we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so you're getting Five Five right away. So um, look out for synchronicities, but also I feel like this person, th there's some regrets here. Something has gone on here that this person um, maybe regrets doing, regrets saying. If it was someone who had you, you know, made you feel like an option and not a priority. I feel like this person is looking at the past and there's a lot of like should have, could have, would have, right? I feel like this person, um, there's a lot of obstacles to overcome. Fives are the number of, of obstacles, right? So I feel like this person feels like, especially with you, it, again, there's an unclear direction of where to go next because of, excuse me, everything that's happened. And as my, I'm hiccuping like that, I feel like this person almost has like a lot to say, but they could like trip over their words or they don't know how to say it. Um, also, when my cards start to sync up, it is Spirit's way of letting me know that this is a significant relationship in your life, right? Like there's usually like deep soul lessons to be learned here. It can be boundaries, could be self-love, could be communication, right? Like any of those are a combination. Obviously, there's lots more as well. Um, tell me about the Seven of Cups, please. Yeah, okay. It's like this person um, maybe even chose their independence over you. I kept seeing this nine of wands as well. They could have been very guarded with you. They could have chose like being single over being with you. Um, again, made you feel like an option, but it's like this person feels like you're their wish fulfillment here. I feel like that's why there's such deep regrets for what has happened because I feel like this person knows they messed up. Um, even if you just met this person and they're they're kind of playing it like, oh, I'm not looking for a commitment, or um, you know, I'm, I'm 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 enjoying being single right now. I feel like it, it's almost like this just this way of, this person's way of protecting themselves, right? It's not truly what they want. 
I also feel like this person could be really heavily influenced by the people around them. Maybe this is like friends or family. So if they hang out with friends who are all single, right, they don't want to be the only one in a commitment based on their friend's expectations. But what they really do want is to, to be with one person. And I feel like you, Aries, were and are in a lot of ways um, their wish fulfillment, exactly what they would want if they were to be in a connection. Um, so they tell me about this five of cups. I feel like they just keep thinking about the past here. Yeah, it's like they wish they had this. I feel like the two of you may have even had a really good time together. I'm seeing that devil card there. Um, they could have felt they could have, you know, addiction in some way or there's just some sort of blockage here. They could be a Capricorn. Um, it, it's like maybe you were in a commitment and they, they called it off, right? Um, this can represent even engagement, you know, living together, you know, at one point being really happy, being really successful together. And I feel like this person's thinking a lot about that, about the good times here and what they truly want, which I feel is you. But there's, some, I almost feel like there was like this person's own insecurities got in their way, but I do feel like there's people around them, friends or family or both, that or even coworkers that kind of influence them is, is how it's coming across to me. Um, so let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions will this person take towards Aries? Thank you. Okay, so we do have the Fool, your energy here, Aries. Um, I feel like this person's going to take a leap of faith towards you here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All movement cards here. This person's rushing in. They could be a Cancer as well. There's also Pisces Scorpio. Um, this person's rushing in to talk to you here. They're taking a leap of faith. They're hoping that the past can be left in the past and that they can just have a conversation with you. If this person lives at a distance, I feel like they're even going to travel to come see you. Um, there's something about a car they could they could even ha have a new car when they come to see you or something like that um, but this person's rushing in to talk to you it's a sense of like urgency here this person can't hold back anymore so like I said even if you just even if you recently met this person and they just told you like I'm not looking for a commitment and then you kind of just you know there was like a friend zone situation or maybe no contact at all I feel like this person um, is coming back here if this is someone from the past it could be from like the distant past or the recent past I, I feel the same thing I feel like this person just feels like they can't hold back anymore and they need to have this conversation here with you um, and the fool is taking a risk right so this could be risky because perhaps you're in a new connection maybe even they were um, maybe they just don't know how you're going to react right maybe it's been a long period of time um, tell me about the Knight of Swords, please. But they they need to talk to you here. So expect communication. We have the Ace of Wands. So they definitely want a fresh new start here. Um, there's a lot of passion between the two of you. This can also indicate, you know, perhaps they'll even... Um, how do I put that? There's definitely a physical attraction here. I feel like this person... Um, it feels deeper than this, but they might come in with an offer just to be physical friends. I'll put it like that. Um, so be aware of that. Um, but I feel like it's it's deeper than that. But I feel like this person might not even. Well, let's just see. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Like they might play it off like this is just they just want to be together physically and that's it. Um, but I feel like it's more than that the nine or the sorry the eight of swords yeah i feel like this person wants to say more to you but they this person just might have an easier time connecting physically right like intimacy equals being physical with each other which it does in a lot of ways but there's other ways to be intimate right having deep conversations spending quality time what have you i feel like this person's kind of stuck in their own head here they could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius um so yeah they're definitely rushing in here they're definitely taking this risk this leap of faith towards you um, but i feel like it's going to feel surface level to you but i do feel like there is a lot of passion so you know perhaps this was what it was before perhaps there was like sort of like a um an understood agreement between the two of you that it was just going to be physical but then feelings developed right and i feel like this person um pulled back or maybe 
you know, made you feel like an option, like I said, or made it seem like it wasn't deeper than that, but really it was. And so I feel like there, there's regrets here for not taking it to that deeper level. But then when they're coming towards you, they're also just kind of keeping it at that passionate level instead of saying how they really want to, what they really want to say. Um, so let's see their intentions. What is this person's intentions? Oh, the nine of swords is also flipped here. So that makes a lot of sense here. Thank you, spirit. So you have the eight and nine of swords, he heavy, heavy air energy, but also this is like a lot of worry, right? This is feeling trapped in your own mind. And then this is like sleepless nights, can't stop thinking about this, right? So this person, you're heavily on this person's mind. Um, so they're definitely coming rushing in, but I also, this is also, feels to me like what they want to say, which is a lot more, they're too nervous to say it or they're they're holding back, right? They they think about saying it and then, no, that sounds stupid. I'm not going to say it like that. Or I'm going to look like this if I say this. Or what if they react like, like there's a lot of overanalyzing, like to the point where they just don't do anything, right? So they might just try to connect physically here with you. Thank you, spirit. Um, what is this person's intentions with Aries? Okay, so we are getting the Eight of Pentacles. What is this person's intentions? Okay, so they want to work on it. They want to work on it. They want to work on being able to offer their cup of love, right? The King of Cups loves deeply, but has trouble offering their cup of love, right? It's like you can feel that they have emotion for you. You can feel that they care about you, but they don't always, you know, say it. Um, this person might be more of like a doer, like an, uh, an acts of service kind of person when it comes to love language, but they do want to work on things here. Um, so I feel like they are going to, their, their intention anyway, is to put practical effort in to show you that they do care, right? Because there is a lot of emotion here. Um, anything else for this person's intentions? The King of Wands. This person has a lot of passion for you. I feel like um, they want to be at all for you. They want to be super passionate and have that like insane chemistry, but they also want to be able to offer their emotions. But, you know, like I said, the King of Cups here has trouble offering their cup of love. The King of Wands is very confident, right? Is very charismatic, very charming, very, um, again, I feel like would be able to connect physically, no problem. And that's kind of their way of showing how they care. Um, but I feel like Aries, maybe that could have been the issue that there was no, there wasn't a lot of communication, right? Um, not really knowing where this person stands or how they feel or, or them keeping, trying to keep this connection at surface level when really they wanted it to be more than that. But it's like this person's intention is to kind of embody both of these energies, right? To be super passionate, but to also be, um, more loving, um, so their intentions look good. Like they do want to step up and both of the kings are coming out, right? Like they want to be at the top of their game here for you. Just depends on, you know, intentions are, can differ from what actually ends up happening though. Um, but if you're wondering about what, you know, why are they coming back or why are they here? It looks like they do intend to, like I said, like kind of step up. And just because they're kings does not mean that this has to be a male. Right? We all have masculine and feminine energy. So this is just someone who's trying to step up be, to the plate, be a leader here, um, embody those two energies. Let's see the potential outcome. What's the potential outcome? Okay, judgment. The card of second chances. Right? So if this person is like putting in the work and you know the, the eight of pentacles gets to work, right? They put in that that effort. They don't stop. They they're they keep going. So the card of second chances here, right? Like you could be like, okay, this person is, is giving me enough and showing me enough that I do want to give this a, another go here, right? Um, I feel like they've also just kind of, like I said, they've kind of had like this like wake up call of like what they really want. And so coming towards you, um, they can't hold back anymore. We have the page of wands. So a lot of flirtatious energy, a lot of fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So they could be younger than you. They don't have to be. Um, but it looks like they're just going to kind of start with like the flirty messages, maybe slide into those DMs, <laughs> you know, see how you're doing. But the intention here, I feel it looks like the potential is to have a second chance here. So, I mean, we all have free will, right? Um, we also have the Eight of Cups. 
Interesting. Tell me more. We have the world, death, and the three of pentacles. So I honestly feel like this person's coming in for that second chance. Like I was saying, a lot of flirtatious energy here. There could be, um, you know, the death card to me, Scorpio energy, um, is usually transformation, right? So this could indicate this person removing themselves from things that don't serve them anymore emotionally. So if it's that those friends, right? If it's those friends kind of influencing them, telling them, you know, it's better to be single or what, you know, whatever else, what have you, um, that could be them walking away from this. And I feel like working together here with you, starting a new chapter with that world card, like completing that other cycle, right? Like ending something else to start something new here with you. I also feel like for some of you, that this could just indicate that, you know, I got to do what's best for me and I'm going to remove myself from the situation. Yeah, this person's coming in for a second chance, but this isn't working for me, right? And you're kind of doing your own thing with this world and three of pentacles. Like you're working on a lot of things right now, Aries. I feel like, um, working on yourself personally mentally spiritually your career i feel like you're doing really well so take that as it resonates right and i like that spirit's actually showing both of these potential outcomes because again it's potential right and i and i really want to highlight free will we all have free will to do what we want for some of you it's going to end up one way for some of you it's going to end up another way um so just yeah take that as it resonates tell me about this eight of cups the seven of swords so again removing themselves from something that was fake right something that that they were kind of putting on a mask right so again this could be this person walking away from this this could be you being like i'm walking away from this because then we also got the ace of pentacles so again i feel i'm honestly getting strongly usually i get one storyline stronger than the other but i feel like it could this is like a toss-up this is this person offering a brand new beginning here to you, something solid. You do have two aces on the board, right? Wanting something fresh, a fresh new start. But I also feel like this could be you being like, I'm gonna go find something new. This isn't for me, right? Maybe too much has gone on or too much time has passed or what have you. Um, so take that as it resonates. Let's see, messages for Aries, please. We have ear, we have good news. So this person could even share some good news with you about um, something else. Let's see. We also have hand in need of help, assistance, guidance, right? So it's interesting because two body parts came out and right away what's coming through to me is that I'm a strong believer that when we push down emotions that want to come out, they can manifest physically so you could start to get headaches you could get back pains stomach pains and and you can't stop thinking about a certain situation or a certain person or whatever i feel like this person is having a lot of like physiological responses like they're they'll think about you they'll wake up in the night they'll have like cold sweats or something like that like their body is even telling them they need to um reach out to you but in need of help assistance and guidance right this person could could feel lost right now we have thrown position of authority so perhaps that's their influence like someone in the position of authority that or maybe they're in a position of authority and they feel like they have to put on this per, per, certain like persona we have wheel indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly so that could have been like the energy that they were in um victory victory in some endeavor so definitely coming out on top here Let's see, messages for Aries, thank you. We have bear, danger, especially in money matters. So perhaps you or them or both are dealing with some sort of money issues as well. We have woman, dealings or relationship with a woman. So it could be you, could be them, could be both. Groom, new home, new attitude. So with that chariot card too, perhaps there is going to be a move or maybe you recently moved. Oh, okay. We have bread, period of prosperity and abundance. I like that. Okay, so let's see. I feel like there's definitely hidden messages for you here, Aries. Messages for Aries, please. Thank you for the messages so far. I know what I'm doing. I play dumb to keep you confused. There's that seven of cups energy, 
right? So this person's well aware, and maybe that's why those there's those deep regrets there as well. Messages for Aries. Thank you. I need to free myself from fear and doubts. I am a caged bird. There's that Eight of Swords energy, right? Like being trapped in their own head, their own fears, their own doubts getting in the way. Messages for Aries. Thank you. We got, I love you unconditionally. And this one like flew underneath my table just here. So it's like it's, this person wants to say it, but they, it's like hidden almost. My pride and ego got hurt, so I wanted revenge. I wanted you to hurt too. So they could have done something out of like being petty is kind of what I'm getting. I am not available. That's what they could have even told you. I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm not looking for a commitment. I'm not available. I have karmic debts that need to be paid before I can come back to you. So you know they could be dealing with something karmic related here whoa okay you've become too difficult for me to handle that's a big turn off i feel like if they said something like that to you that was definitely uh, not the truth here i want to be more than friends um, i bury myself in work to forget you and I feel empty and hollow inside. I can't open up right now. So a lot of like internal stuff going on with this person. Let's see, messages for Aries, please. I feel like it's this one. We have get more information. So maybe even having those conversations because I have to be honest, there's not a lot of conversation on the board here. There's a lot of passion. There is emotion here. Um, but this person might struggle with communication. No, nope, they said that's it. Okay. Messages for Aries, please. Thank you for the messages so far. Feel free to fast forward during these moments. I just wait for the cards to flip or fall out. Thank you. Your commitment is being tested. A win-win outcome is forecast. Libra energy. I said not that one. Okay. Spirit messages for Aries, please. Thank you. We have message in a bottle. Number 15. So again, I feel like this person definitely is going to be reaching out, giving you a message here, but let's read it. From the book. You can expect someone to favor you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, a phone call, or email, or a DM. <laughs> you are the intended receiver of this message, so stay open to what you learn. Only good will come of it in the end. The signs are all there. Okay, so definitely a message coming in here for you, Aries. Let's see. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates. Take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we have C, R, Y, the number one the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, Aries, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. Love and light.